ban on protest in Brazil. Rio Olympics organizers have thrown their weight behind a police crackdown on Brazilians holding up signs in stadiums against unpopular interim president Mikel Temer despite accusations of censorship. According to the Rio 2016 organizing committee spokesman Mario Andrada, we are alerting the public that these kinds of demonstrations are not allowed inside the venues. In multiple incidents since the games opened on August 5, local police have confiscated small signs featuring the words Fora Temer, Portuguese for Out with Temer. Some cases involve no more than a sheet of paper displayed in silence. Spectators have tried to demonstrate their disgust with acting president Mikel Temer during Olympic events but were thrown out. Stray bullet in Rio Olympic Media Center A stray bullet cut through the plastic roof of the Equestrian Media Center this weekend, alarming journalists and underlining concerns about Rio's ability to guarantee safety at the world's biggest sporting event. Despite no recorded injuries from the incident, the equestrian venue is sited next to a military complex, though police are still trying to discover who fired the bullet and where it came from. A spokesman for the Rio 2016 organizing committee said, It was a stray bullet and had nothing to do with the games, Mario Andrade said at the news conference, adding that security around the venue had been increased as a precaution. Defense Minister Raul Jungman was in the area accompanying the investigation and would return there on Sunday, a spokesman said. Shine in Rio, brought to you by Tisalat. Now you're talking. Phelps loses, but not to worry, it was just in the semi final. The American is safely through to the men's 200 meter butterfly final after he finished second place behind Tamas Kenderesi, the Hungarian, who will still be able to tell his friends he beat a living legend though. Ken Darius and Phelps were the two fastest qualifiers for the final, just ahead of reigning Olympic champion Chad the class of South Africa. <laughs> Joe Kovic's untimely real exit. In tennis, Novak Djokovic's Rio 2016 dream is over for the second time in roughly 24 hours after he and his partner, Nenad Zimonjic, lost their men's double second round match against Brazilian peer Marcelo Melo and Bruno Soares. There's however still a slight chance at another shot on the court, but that's if he's nominated for Serbia's mixed doubles team. Usain Bolt is loaded. In his first and only public appearance before he beats to make history at the Rio 2016 Olympic Games, the world and Olympic record holder received a carnival themed welcome at the Citate das Artes in Baratichuga, Rio de Janeiro. Shine in Rio, brought to you by Tisalat. Now you're talking.